Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to do another video today. Um, firstly, I do want to say though, if you are watching my videos, um, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram at FadeconJake. Um, we can have uh, talks about learning English. Um, if you're learning English, we can talk about my progress in learning Portuguese. I usually upload clips of me um, learning Portuguese onto my Instagram. And if you are watching this video on my channel for the first time, check out my other videos, follow me on Instagram. The story is I'm learning Portuguese from scratch and I'm documenting it from the beginning. So yesterday, no, in the last video I made, um, I found it difficult. I was reading, reading through the dialogue and I think I struggled. Uh, to, to read the dialogue and I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting to be able to read it better um, and I was been thinking since I made that video like how long is this process going to take you know I want, I want to be able to speak conversational Portuguese I want to be able to speak fluent Portuguese um, and sometimes you I spend most of my days trying to learn a little bit of Portuguese. I spend actually right now a lot of my time researching about the language of Portuguese um, and when that things like that happened in the last video you probably didn't notice maybe maybe you think I'm doing well but for me personally I, I finished that video and I felt a little bit disheartened <laughs> because it didn't I didn't feel confident after the video um, so I was, I was disappointed in why can't I speak Portuguese? <laughs> because it's very difficult, obviously. Um, but since then, I've had some nice and positive feedback um, about my videos, and I remembered that it's it's a process and it's a long journey to to learn a language. And for me, it's been two months of like kind of I would say intensive studying. And I have probably come a long way. Um, when I'm doing it every day, I don't realize how far I've come. Um, you have to remember for me, like when I came to Brazil in February, February I didn't know any Portuguese. I, I understood like three or four words. Um, so I, in terms of like pronunciation and the kind of things that I can remember off the top of my head, um, I'm quite happy with. Um, but yeah, the point is that it is a long, long journey learning a language and um, the good thing I guess about these videos is that I'm not going to be perfect every time. I'm not going to read off a piece of paper and read Portuguese perfect every time because um, I can't, I'm, I'm not ready yet um, and I'm, my Portuguese is far from perfect. But these videos are to document my journey from from scratch, there's a lot of videos on YouTube where there's um, people who have learned Portuguese and they're speaking fluently very well. Um, and you watch them and think, oh, I wish I could do that. So that's my target and in these videos, unfortunately, I won't be able to speak Portuguese properly. I won't be able to speak Portuguese to the top level. but it's going to show, these videos are going to show my progress and I like to think that in, you know, six months to a year, if I keep making these videos at least once a week, even if I make one every two weeks, then hopefully we should see some, some progress. My goal is, is in two years time, is to be able to publish a video with no Portuguese subtitles. I want to be able to to be able to speak a whole 15 minute video in Portuguese. That's my goal and that's my two year goal. So you got to have targets. And I'm hoping that if I keep up with this and I, and I remember that it's going to be a long process and I remember that it's going to be a journey, hopefully I can achieve exactly what I want to achieve. Anyway, that was my little speech. Now, back to the dialogue that I was trying to speak in my last lesson. I've been practicing and I'm hoping to see a little bit of progress in me speaking that dialogue. 
So it's the same dialogue as the last lesson. Dialogue between Lillian and Pedro. It's about going to the cinema or the movies. Hello Pedro. Tudo bem? Oi Lillian. Tudo certo. E você? Tudo bem? Vamos ao cinema hoje? Hoje? Que pena. Vou voltar mais tarde. Porque vou visitar um amigo. Que tal amanhã? Ótimo. A que horas vamos? Vamos à sessão das oito. O Cinema Spaz vai apresentar um clássico brasileiro. Eu sei. O outro da competição. Digo eu a raiz. Passeiro na peça de Ariano Susana. Vamos sim. Depois do Cinema Vantam. Depois do cinema, vamos jantar numa pizzaria na cidade? Legal, até amanhã. Então, te espero às oito com um saco de pipacos. Tá bem, eu passo lá às vinte horas, um ponto. Tchau. So, yeah, I feel that was hopefully slightly better than last time. Um, pipacos. Hard, hard. I, I always look at that word and want to say pipocus, but it's pipocus and compa de sida, compa de sida, o auto da compa de sida. I find this one is like uh, it's a mouthful, you know. Anyway, that was the dialogue. Um, now I'm gonna move on to my lesson that I just did. In the lesson, I was looking at the verb ir, to go, ir, to go. So, I have some examples in front of me um, with the blanks, there's blank spaces. I have uh, an example would be Pedro volta para casa. Amanhã, Pedro vai volta para casa. So, I need to decide the correct verb and the correct infinitive. So the verb was changing from volta, was changing to infinitive, infinitive, and we're using vai to say I'm going to. And so I need to choose whether it's il vol, eli, ela, eli, ela, we'll say vai, nos vamos, and the last one is Elis, Elas, Voces, Vão. I remember that off the top of my head. <laughs> so if you understand, I've got to fill the spaces. So let's see how I do. So, jantamos na cidade, amanhã nos vamos jantar na cidade. So, vamos jantar was the two words that I had to guess that I should know. Eles estudam os programas. Amanhã eles vão estudar os programas. So, vão and estudar. Falo com Carmen. Amanhã eu vou falar. Com Carmen. So, I will speak to Carmen tomorrow. Next one, falamos com o professor. Amanhã nos vamos falar com o professor. So, vamos falar com o professor. Ela estuda a lação. Amanhã, ela vai. Amanhã, ela vai estudar a, a lação. It should be right. Yes, that is right. If, if I say any of these wrongs, any, any of these wrong, correct me in the comments. Okay, next one. Try and get through them. Os alunos descansam depois do almoço. Amanhã eles vão descansar depois do almoço. Marilene acorda às sete horas. 
Amaya, Mariana, Bai, Amaya, Maria, Amaya, Mary, Amaya, Mary, Mary Lane, Amaya, Mary Lane, Vai, Akota, Asechi, Ors, Asenores, Asenores, Toman, Kofe, Zero, Amanya Elis Vau Toma Café Sado. Yep, we're doing good. And next one is Chegamos ao Escritório as Oito Trenta. Amanya nos vamos. Amanya nos vamos. Chega ao escritório às 8h30. Levo Lúcia ao escritório. Amanhã eu vou. Amanhã eu vou. Leva Lúcia ao escritório. Ines almoça na universidade. Ines almoça na universidade. Amanhã Ines vai almoçar na universidade. José não trabalha de noite. Amanhã José não vai trabalhar de noite. Você termina a lição. Amanhã você vai terminar a você termina a lição. Amanhã você vai terminar a lição. Viajamos para a Europa. Amanhã nós vamos viajar para a Europa. So there you go. If you understand what I was doing, I'm sure you do if you speak Portuguese. If you're learning Portuguese, then I'll just try to explain again. Is I was choosing the correct conjugation of the verb ir, ir, to go. And I was using the correct infinitive. Um, and the conjugations is vai, vou, vai, vamos, and vão. And the infinitives were in the sentences. So if you go through it, you should hear me using the correct infinitives and the correct conjugations. Like I said, if there's any wrong, um, please do correct me in the comments. And we'll move on to the next video um, where I will be talking about my next lesson. Um, I'm going to keep on going and keep on recording these lessons. Hopefully we're going to see some progress if we haven't seen some progress already. If you want to follow my journey of learning Portuguese as an Englishman, then please do subscribe. Follow my Instagram, I'm Fale com Jake. Um, I usually post up uh, clips of me speaking Portuguese and I'm open to conversations on my Instagram as well to practice a little Portuguese. Or if you are learning English, then I will be able to help you with some English. Until then, I'll see you next time.